Hello everyone and welcome to Zell. I'm super excited to give you a preview of the upcoming Zellcore Premium release scheduled for mid-April. Zellcore Premium is the beginning of a new era for Zell, where added exchange functionality, crypto tools, news, and research dApps will transform the way we use crypto. These premium features bring a whole new level of use and convenience to the growing number of assets that can be secured by the Zellcore wallet. If you enjoy what you're seeing, please like and subscribe to the Zell channel and share this video. And now, without further ado, let's take a closer look at the progress the Zell team has been making. If you're not using the Zellcore wallet yet, what are you waiting for? Come over here to zellcore.io and download your free copy today. It's available for Mac, Windows, Linux, and mobile devices. What I have here is a special build of Zellcore Premium, and I'm super excited to give you this behind the scenes look at the current state of development on the project. Now, if you're new to Zellcore, one of the great features of the wallet is the fact that you can trade crypto in the wallet itself. And right now, in the current release, there are four exchanges available on the third party exchange window. That's CoinSwitch, Changely, Kyber, and shapeshift. These are relatively familiar in the crypto community, hot swap solutions. They allow you to trade coins or Ethereum tokens, but not all of them. And because of that limitation, we were seeking ways in which we could expand the amount of cryptos that could be traded within Zellcor. And that's where the next three come in. Binance, Kraken, and Bittrex. These are among the top 10 exchanges in the world that carry the largest number of assets. So it gives you a huge amount of possibilities in terms of trading pairs. And the best part is you can link your Binance account, your Kraken account, or your Bittrex account to your Zellcore wallet through the API in a secure way so that you can control those accounts with your Zellcore wallet. So, for instance, if you want to deposit crypto into your Binance account, you could do that right from Zellcore. If you want to set up a trade on Binance, you could do that from the Zellcore wallet. If you want to check your transaction history, you could also do that from Zellcore. And finally, after you've done all of your trading, if you want to withdraw the crypto, you can do that as well, and it can go directly into the corresponding account in your Zellcore wallet. You don't even have to go to the websites anymore. You can do this all from the convenience of whichever platform you're using, whether that be desktop or mobile. You could do it on the go. You could do it from your couch. So it's incredibly convenient and powerful, giving you all of this functionality really at your fingertips. So let's take a closer look at one of these exchanges. I'm just going to go ahead and blow this up and let's go into Binance. My API is already connected, so I'll have a video on how to do that in the future. But for right now, my personal account has been linked to my Zellcore wallet. And the first tab I'd like to show you is the portfolio tab. Now, what you see here are all of the assets that are on Binance. And if you were to log into your account on Binance and click the balances page, this is what you would see. So these are all of the coins attached to your account and the balance is there. So I only have one coin here with a little bit of a balance. It's Litecoin. And these are all sortable, by the way. So if you want to arrange them by alphabet, so this is alphabetical forwards and backwards, or you can arrange them by amount smallest to largest or vice versa. You can arrange it in order of how many are on the exchange set up in orders already. And probably one of my favorite features here is the ability to deposit or withdraw from within Zellcore. Now this is probably one of the most powerful features here. So for instance, if I wanted to withdraw this Litecoin here, all I'd have to do is click the withdraw button. And it gives me two options. I have the first option is to withdraw to an address. Now this is great if I want to go ahead and withdraw that Litecoin and put it in cold storage like a ledger or a Trezor or a paper wallet, something like that. I could just put that address right here 
and the amount and then go ahead and confirm that withdrawal. Or if I want to secure my Litecoin with Zellcor, I can go ahead and click this button and it gives me an option to choose which of my Zellcor wallet addresses I'd like to send it to. So um, each of the assets on Zellcor have three wallet addresses, either one, two, or three. So you can choose which of those you'd like to go ahead and send to. So let's say I want to go to wallet one. I would put in my amount here and click on confirm withdrawal. That would then be taken from my Binance wallet and deposited into my Litecoin wallet in Zellcor, all from one window. So this is incredibly powerful for anybody. The next feature I'd like to talk about is depositing crypto because if you want to do any trading in this way, what we'll need to do is actually deposit something that I can trade with. So in this case, let's take a look at Bitcoin. I have zero available right now, but if I want to do some trading with Bitcoin, then I need to put some on the exchange. So to do that, very simply, I would just click on the deposit button here. And now I've got a QR and my Bitcoin address for my account. If I want, I can go ahead and copy this. And then all I have to do now is go back and open up my Bitcoin wallet and click on send. Hopefully you have your account set up with two-factor authentication. Then from the send part, all I have to do is go to the address. Control V will paste that address here. So now I'm sending to that address. Something else is I can create a new contact. So if I want, I can go ahead and set this up, name it Binance. So I know that's my Binance Bitcoin address and it will remember that for the next time. So once I've got that set up, I don't have to worry about jumping around again. Then I can go ahead and pick the amount of Bitcoin that I'd like to send in. So let's say I put 0 0.01, go ahead and click on send and that will send that amount of Bitcoin over to my Binance address. And now for what I'm sure you're waiting for, the exchange portion of this setup. All you have to do is click the exchange button here and then select market pair. And for market pair, let's go ahead and take a look at Cardano. Now we have all of the features that you would expect from a traditional exchange. The order books are here, very clear, easy to follow. We have down here, an option to buy Cardano and an option to sell on the bottom right. Right in the center, we've got our market history, any open orders. So if you're actively trading here, you can list all your open orders, any closed orders. So this also shows you your transaction history and it's for your entire transaction history on Binance. So right now I've got something from last year on here. So pretty comprehensive in terms of the data that's available and the integration in the Zellcor. Perhaps one of the best features here is a fully functional trading view plugin. So you can go ahead and do all the technical analysis that you need on this particular chart. Throw in your RSI or your moving averages and do some real quality analysis all from within Zellcor. Or if you want to check out the market depth, you can click the link up in the top right here for market depth, and that will show you the graph based on the order books here. So it gives you a little bit more of a visual. Now, let's say you're not all that interested in getting too bogged down with the technical analysis or the setting a limit order or anything like that. Let's say you want to just go ahead and pay the market price for whatever coin pair you're in, well, you can very simply do that by going over here to the swap link. This will give you a very simple interface that will allow you to just swap at market value. So once again, we'll select our market pair, go ahead over here to Cardano and Bitcoin. Then all that's left to do is put in the amount of Cardano I'd like to purchase. So let's say I wanna buy 500 Cardano, it'll automatically calculate the amount of Bitcoin that's needed for that at the current market price. And it's telling me right here that current market price about 1753 Satoshis or roughly seven cents. Now it's showing up as US dollars for me right now, but do keep in mind Zellcor has over a hundred different fiat types that you can use to go ahead and set this up for your local currency. Once that's all set the way you like it, go ahead 
and click on the buy. And as long as you have enough Bitcoin, 0 0.008755 in your Binance wallet, this trade will go through. Then what you can do once it's gone through is go back to your balances page and withdraw that crypto into the appropriate place, whether that's offline storage or into your Zelle Core wallet. The last thing I'd like to show you is the settings page, which is really the transaction history right now. A lot of times what happens with development is the developers will just put in a place card. So in this case, maybe they are still going to have an additional settings option, but perhaps they'll add another button for transaction history. Nevertheless, all of the transaction history of your Binance account will show up here, which is a really nice feature just to kind of help you do some of the tracking all from within Zellcor. No need to go to the website once you've got it connected with your API. Now, I'd like to connect all these great features I just showed you with this announcement that we made in early February. I'll put a link down in the description, and I'm looking at the section here for major exchanges API integration. The first point is API key linking from popular major exchanges directly in Zellcor. Well, that's exactly what I just showed you. You can now connect your Binance, Kraken, and Bittrex accounts to Zellcor through the API so that you can control them from Zellcor. It's really powerful. It allows you to do everything from deposit, trade, withdraw, and check your transaction history all from Zellcor. Next, withdraw exchange funds directly to Zellcor addresses. I also showed you that with Litecoin. It gives you two options. I could put in a cold stored address if I want, or I could go ahead and put in my Zellcor wallet address, and it will withdraw that directly in Zellcor and continue to secure those funds using the username, password, and decentralized two-factor authentication. Third one here, display total asset value between Zellcor Exchange and offline wallets via API linking to those products. Now imagine this, you're able to have a bird's eye view of all of your crypto no matter where it is. Whatever's on the exchanges in hot storage, whatever's in Ledger or Trezor in cold storage, and whatever is secured by Zellcor in your desktop wallet, all visible, so that you have a really good bird's eye view of all of your crypto assets. This is becoming more and more the one wallet to secure them all. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that preview of Zellcor Premium and are excited about the tremendous progress being made by the Zell team. If so, please like and subscribe to the Zell YouTube channel and other social media platforms and share this video with your friends. Links are down in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.